Hello, this is BSU TV. I'm your host, Darnell Pettis. I have Christian Hobby. So after winning his third straight world title in the 200 meters, Noah Lyles was asked a question regarding the state of track and field as a sport. You know what hurts me the most is that I have to watch the NBA Finals and they and they have world champion on their head. I love the U.S. at times, but that ain't the world. That is not the world. We are the world. There ain't no flags in the NBA. We got to do more. We got to be presented to the world. Frank, what is your comment? My comment is I'm starting to believe, you know, with the NBA, but you know, the NBA ain't playing for money. They're not selling up the team. So for them to travel with internationally, different like, countries, different states, I definitely believe that, you know, it's in some type of terms, like we have to leave with terms. Because they get to play with other people in other countries and stuff like Players like players in the NBA like Draymond Green, Kevin Durant, they all spoken they all spoken out and clowned him. Kristen, what are your thoughts? Well, uh, he kind of got a point, even though I don't really agree with it because I'd be going for more like going from like a server like Yoki's or Dennis Schroeder, all from different countries come to the NBA. Plus, if you want to see, but that wouldn't really be the best thing we got. So the Olympics, like a lot of NBA players are out there. Yeah. Probably see next year what's going to happen. Uh, our best talent is the Okay. And earlier, Kevin Durant was saying how him and LeBron are like the best players in the world. Michael, what are your thoughts? Like, I know everybody else wants to play in the NBA, wants to be in the NFL. Do Noah Lyles has a point? Oh, um, I feel like. Kind of does have a point because while they may be the best in the NBA, I don't think that relatively means like the world. The NBA is its own element. There's other leagues in other countries, so you know, I, I think he is right. Okay. And back to you, Frank. You think going forward, when a team wins the Super Bowl, a team wins the NBA Finals, do you think world champions should be a race from the band? I think so because it's like you're winning the NBA or winning that, you know what I'm saying, championship in the football league, it's like it's broad. Everybody's tuning in, you know what I'm saying? Even people overboard overseas, you know, they're able to, you know, have some source to check the game and check the source. So I definitely believe that's 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 what it is. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate it. For BSU TV News, I'm Jonathan. Very good job guys. Good job. I thought you said five.
there's all these events that Tiger did just mention. Um, people are asking when it comes to homecoming, uh, what's the lineup for our concert? Um. So, so with the lineup of our content, like, like I remind all students, we have a pretty thorough lineup, you know, that we feel like will hit every uh, aspect of the student body. We do have, you know, a special announcement, uh, maybe coming soon, maybe coming next week, this week, in regards to the artists for the student body to know. So I would definitely say stay tuned for everyone, and it's definitely something that you don't want to miss. Sticking right to the bud. With that being said, this has been Makaya Williams for WBSU That's a wrap. Good job, guys. Everybody should tune in. It's definitely a good week. Absolutely, I, I think so as well. Um, there was an article I had read. He said something about the WBA. It's like a little more warming, which I thought was just a good punch. He said that um, normally they don't play basketball during the summer, and that's that's not true because the W the NBA also has uh, has a summer league as well. So uh, it's just what do you think needs to happen for more people to come out and watch the WBA? I definitely think that those who have a platform and like the WNBA should definitely be like broadcasting it, supporting it, like vocally supporting it, so that way people know about the games and stuff. Okay. So we're in the semifinals, and it's the, uh, the w, uh, WNBA aces as well as the wings. Um, I think the wings uh, they lost the other day. And um, you have New York and you have Connecticut, so out of the, uh, the group, I mean, who do you think will be the finals? Yes, yeah, so I think the final game will definitely end with the Aces and Liberty going head to head. I think the their matchup will be Asia Wilson and Brianna Stewart in the match. So I think that the Aces will take the game all the way here and will end up with the championship. All right, well, you heard it right here. Thank you very much for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. WBSU TV is your one and only host, TKO, and I'm back with an interesting interview. It's been an interesting week in college football, and I have the pleasure of interviewing two people here. So here with me, I've got KJ Chester. All right, now you guys watched the Colorado versus Oregon game, correct? Okay, so a couple questions for y'all. What do you think is the impact Travis Hunter had in not being there? Well, first off, you know, I'm from where he's from, so you know, shout out to Atlanta, Georgia. But Travis Hunter, he's a once in a gener generation type talent. You got to think about it. When have you ever seen somebody go out and be top three on their team with wide receiver yards and then go back on defense and lead their team in interceptions? He's a major impact player on the team. His injury, when he got hurt with his lacerated liver, that's a major impact that leaves one of the top playmakers, not just on the team, but in the country ever. It was a tough injury. What is your thoughts? Interesting thoughts. Now, what do you think is the issues between the games? The main issue is I believe that Oregon had seven sacks the entire game. Now, with that being said, Shadur Sanders, he still had an outstanding game. But if you don't have the whole line to protect your quarterback, you automatically lost the game before you exit it. Game, before the game even happened, what do you think would have won? 
already knew Oregon was going to win because, you know, like I said, it's Deion's first year there, you know. It's, they like to call him a Cinderella story, but when you go against a team that's as well-conditioned, as well-trained as Oregon, you know, you're going to run into some road bumps, you know, some pickups. So I already knew Oregon was going to win the game. Okay, now, what do you think Colorado could have done better? I feel like Colorado really could have tried to pass the ball a little bit more. I feel like they tried to run the ball a little bit way too much, and I feel like that's what really ended up with Hunt's Thank you guys for coming in and interviewing. Thank you. That's a wrap. Good job.